Hello everyone, this is Jack and welcome back to another Minecraft video and today in this one we're going to be taking a look at a tiny block swapper. So over here we can see that we have a flat wall but when we press this button you can see that the block will be swapped and we have a flushed wall but a different block over here. So we got an emerald block and we press the button again we get a crafting bench so you can hide your crafting benches over here as well and then we have ourselves a diamond block so you can hide your rich blocks like gold and then when we press that again the wall will be back and if you hide this button no one will be able to know that uh, there was something over here it's going to be hidden so no one can see what's going on so now we can see all of the blocks that are going to be cycling through and you can see the cycle happen just like that and all the blocks are pushed just like that as you can see they go around like this and uh, the reason that I have this uh, uh, vertically is because uh, it doesn't show any of the pistons which is pretty great and uh, therefore it's going to be totally flush with the floor and hidden so you can hide your rich blocks and hide your crafting benches and whenever the the mojang team adds in the pushable chest the, you can also hide your chest and things in over here and it will work really nicely so now let's take a look at my favorite thing about this design the redstone so as we can see the redstone is too wide and it is pocket sized you can just fit this anywhere you want to you can just fit this in your basement and no one will find out so what happens over here is a pretty simple piston tape and uh, this piston will push the block in, uh, in the to the wall so firstly what happens is this piston will retract and then this piston will push the blocks over here in this direction this piston will full push them over here and this piston over here and then this piston finally replaces this block over here it will come over here and the whole cycle happens so what you want to do is start off with a 2 by 7 area this is going to be your wall and this is going to be your ground level and this is going to be your height so what you want to do firstly is add your button so what we're going to do is add the wall just like this and your button will go over here and just go back over here and add a redstone dust over there a block over here and a observer facing this way and now what you want to do is go and place a block over here, a redstone dust over there and a piston facing this way. It has to be non-sticky and over here go and place a block over there, a block over here and a repeater set to 4 ticks and go and place a observer there with a block over here and then a redstone dust over here and another piston like that. So remember that this block should be a slab and then a redstone dust over there and now go and place a torch over there with a sticky piston facing this way. Now what you want to do is go over here add a repeater this way and an uh, observer facing this way with a block over there and another repeater with another observer like that. Now we're going to be place, placing a block over there and add a piston facing this way and another piston facing this way. And believe it or not, that's all the redstone. So now what you're going to do is go and add your blocks. So what I'm going to do is add a emerald block and some gold and some diamond blocks and a crafting bench over there. And now we can see that the whole cycle happens. Now what you want to do is just cover this whole wall up like this. And there we go. So that was an extra height there. So yeah, this is how and this is where your floor will go just like this and uh, now you can hide this button so it's run or input into this block you don't have to do that you just have to go and run an input into this block with a repeater just like that and it will work the same way so we're gonna grab a button over here let's place that and you can see that the whole cycle will happen so you can just do that if you want to hide the input but if you want the input the button over here then you can have that too so yeah that was it for the rest of the tutorial i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos i will see you in the next one thanks for watching and goodbye